Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and a, a break off for, you know, relaxing and family fun time. Um, but we're back in it. Um, we're back in it November 27th, um, FLL. We're going to the championship this Saturday, so we're still, everything's getting modified, fixed, prepared. But this is just for everybody, um, those of you that might still be competing this year. Um, this video is going to be about how do we um, limit the amount of wasted time in base. Um, sometimes uh, teams can waste almost a minute um, in base, you know, with transitions and finding programs. Uh, so I actually have my team, uh, we actually time, as soon as the robot comes back, we actually time how long it takes to get everything from the attachments to actually finding the program. And then we, I stop the time when they actually launch and we actually sit down and go, okay, we took this much time, and this much time. So obviously one of the fixes for, you know, wasting less time in base is to combine your programs. That's kind of a given. Um, you know, if you're doing a 30 second program for one mission, obviously you want to try to see if you can fit more missions into that. But if you can't, these are going to be some tips on how to limit how much time you're wasting in base. So let's get to it. Okay, so one of the tips for your team. And guys, I know every team does some things differently. So I'm not here to say that our way is the best way. You take and, you know, take what you can, leave what you don't, you know, whatever works for your team is best. So this is one thing that our team does is we have a little table here with all the attachments. And then I would even have the team put their attachments in the order that they're using it. So yeah, we have a lot of attachments here. Some of them we don't even use, so we have to clean this out. But I would have my team already before their two and a half minute start already have their attachments laid out. So they're not sitting there going, uh, which one are we using first? Everything is laid out in the order that we will use it. This is actually uh, from a couple of years ago. I don't know how many of you are around for Trash Trek, but my class is doing this, so that's why this mat is still out. Uh, but another thing that you could possibly do, if your team is wasting a lot of time lining up the robot, you know, finding the right you know, line or where in base, you could also consider making something here out of Legos to help you line up your robot. So that way you don't have to be counting lines or finding that perfect spot. You can just, you know, if you're sending it out this way, just line it up. Uh, my team actually has an extender for a different mission. So if they, that mission's over, they extend it here. The only thing you would have to be careful of is just the different boards. See how ours goes right up to the wood. Sometimes in competition, the board doesn't quite match up. So you would just have to make sure it lines up with your mat. So some type of guide in base to help you line up your robot so you're wasting less time finding the spot or aiming it. Another tip for wasting less time in base is I have to constantly remind my teams to when they have launched their robot, a lot of times both team members will stand there and watch the robot as it's going. Now, I know you have to watch it so that way if you have to see if, you know, a mission got done or not. Um, but maybe one person can be in charge of watching the robot and the other person has the next attachment ready. So that way, when that robot comes back into base, bam, that person is ready to take something off, put something on, instead of both watching it, and then it comes back, and then you waste time looking for whatever that attachment was. That person who's in charge of the attachment should just be ready. As soon as that robot passes that baseline, um, it should, that person should already have that attachment in hand, ready to take off, put on, whatever that would happen. And so that way there's less time wasted of fumbling for things. You can, can't imagine how much time, I mean, if you start to add up those seconds, that could be the difference of 30 points right there if a mission couldn't be done because all that time was wasted. 
Okay, everybody, uh, my last tip on how to save time and base is going to be actually with the way you download your programs onto your brick. Um, I've seen many teams, including my own, waste a lot of time scrolling, clicking, clicking, trying to get to that program. And I believe it's because the programs are not organized in the way that the team runs their missions. So I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how your team would want to download the program onto your brick so that way they can be in order and you're not necessarily wasting so much time uh, finding them. So I have three random programs up here, Fountain, Filter, and The Rain. Don't worry about these blocks. They're just random blocks I put up there. So let's say a team really wanted to do their Fountain mission first, then their Filter, then their Rain. What you would want to do is download them in the opposite order um, because the last mission you program is actually going to be the first one on the top of the list. So let me do that one more time. We want it to be Fountain Filter Rain, um, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that we flip the order then. So what we want to do is put in the rain first. So let me go down here and download that. Then I would want to come up here to the filter, download that one, and then do the fountain last, but, la but then again, on my brick, it will appear first. So memorize that. It should be the fountain first, then the filter, then the rain. Let's go to the brick. Okay, so here I am on the brick that we just download the program. Let me just go back to my laptop to show you the order again. So it was Fountain, Filter, Rain, and then we go to my brick, there it is, Fountain, Filter, and then Rain. So that way your teams can just go in the order that you guys, you know, organized it to be. All right, guys, so hopefully that is helpful. I, again, am crazy desperate for tips and tricks from other teams. So if you guys have any other tips for not wasting time in base, uh, I'd love for you to let me know and down in the comments section uh, what, what's another way that I might have forgotten or another way that you guys uh, use it. So again, hopefully your FLL teams are doing well this season. Um, let me know. I know a lot of your teams, you've been telling me how you've, how you've been doing. Um, it's good to hear. It's good to see folks excited. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. Mm -hmm.